Have you ever wondered where the Vice President of the United States calls home? Welcome to the intriguing story of Number One Observatory Circle, a residence steeped in history and political significance. Let's turn back the hands of time to the year 1893. Nestled on the northeast grounds of the U.S. Naval Observatory in Washington, D.C., a house was built for the observatory superintendent. This charming residence was designed by architect Leon E. DeSez and erected on 13 acres of land that was once part of a 73-acre farm called Northview. The house was so admired that in 1923, the chief of naval operations claimed it for himself. For 45 years, this house, known as the Admiral's House, became home to admirals such as Richard Lee, Chester Nimitz, and Elmo Zumwalt. However, in 1974, a significant shift occurred. Congress determined that it would be more practical and cost-effective to provide security for the vice president in a government-provided residence. Thus, the house was transformed into an official residence for the vice president, albeit a temporary one by law. Interestingly, more than two years passed before a vice president lived full-time in the house. Vice President Gerald Ford ascended to the presidency before he could use the house, and his vice president, Nelson Rockefeller, primarily used it for official entertainment. It was Vice President Walter Mondale who first moved into the house, setting a precedent for every vice president since. Before this transformation, vice presidents had lived in hotels or their own private homes. In fact, in 1923, Senator John B. Henderson's widow offered their newly built home as an official residence in his honor. President Calvin Coolidge, who lived in a hotel during his tenure as vice president, strongly advocated for a permanent residence for the vice president, irrespective of the financial ability of its occupant. Fast forward to 1966, the House Public Works Committee approved the construction of a three-story vice presidential residence at the Naval Observatory. However, the project was delayed until 1974 when Congress authorized the refurbishment and furnishing of the house. And so, the story of Number One Observatory Circle continues to unfold. From a superintendent's house to the admiral's house, and now the official residence of the vice president, this historic building remains a symbol of American political life. To recap, Number One Observatory Circle is a house steeped in history and political significance. Built in 1893, it has been home to the Chief of Naval Operations, and since 1974, the official residence of the Vice President of the United States. Despite its status as a temporary residence by law, it has housed every Vice President since Walter Mondale and stands as a testament to the ever-evolving landscape of American politics.